Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. It's another Thursday gear video and I'm gonna demo my Mesa Boogie Mark V combo amp right here. Uh, now, this is the main amp I use when I go out and gig and play with other musicians. It's an extremely loud amp, an extremely versatile amp. Uh, in fact, there's more knobs and bells and whistles than I even know what to do with. Whereas the other amp that you see in my videos all the time, the divided by 13, there's really four knobs on that. So there's different people, different tastes out there. Some people really like to be able to dial in and have every option possible, and other people prefer simplicity. So I'm gonna show you the fancy Mark V from Mesa Boogie right now. We're gonna start real simply. I'm gonna use uh, a single coil. I'm gonna use my Les Paul as well so we get different tones out of it. And there's just a lot of features to cover. Let's start with, uh, you know, with the basics. It's basically like a 90 watt amplifier. But there's features on it. Over here, you have full power, but you have variac power, which makes it, uh, you know, push the tubes more so you get more saturation uh, at a lesser volume. So that's step one. Now let's go over here. We have three different little areas. And basically, these are the controls for three separate channels. So it's kind of like having three different amps at your disposal at all times. And the basic concept with Mesa Boogie and the three channels are, uh, and they are designed differently, is channel one, and you have this little yellow light here. Channel one is your super clean channel. Channel two is like your mid gain stage channel. And then channel three is your lead or heavy distortion channel. Each one has its own separate controls all, all of which can be controlled by this incredible foot switch that you know gives you every option to control right at your feet. And then when we head over here, we've still got you know this whole area's options for your graphic EQ, okay? But then when you go here, there's a feature that I really like. One, you just have your output volume. So you have a master volume right here. But the other thing that's super sweet, and you can control this right on your pedal, on your control pedal for the amp is this solo, right? So I can have a, uh, a set volume for the amp and then I can have a separate boost volume. It's like a separate master volume that can be activated with the foot switch here. And so basically you could have a clean boost or just a volume boost on any channel you want. So you can control this separate volume right here as just a boost for, for the overall amp. So if I had a really clean setting here on the clean, but I wanted to be able to just push it a little bit, but still keep it clean. I can set that and click the solo switch on the foot pedal, and now I get my clean boost. Turn it off. Um, basically, they've thought of every possible way to control the features on the amp. You know, it's a tube amp, bunch of 6L6s in the back, bunch of tubes, preamp tubes. It's got reverb. Uh, the foot pedal switch actually can be fit, you know, fit right in the back of the amp. It's got wheels that come off and on, so that's a really convenient feature. Right now, I have it in standby, and what I did was I have all three channels, and if you can see here, the, everything is turned all the way down. So when I switch, I'm plugged into it, when I switch the amp on, you're not gonna, hopefully if I'm doing this right, you're not gonna hear anything, because I have volumes turned all the way down. My foot switch it has channel one selected, so anything I control right now, would be dialed in right here. But if you look at the amp, if I hit channel two on the foot switch, boom, you see the light change. Now it's telling me it's that. So it's like an orange for the middle one. And then the channel three, since I told you it was hot and distorted, it's red. So let me go back to channel one. All right, so I'm gonna dial in the amp now and I can control everything with the foot switch like I was saying. Channel one, I want it to be, for me, for my liking, I want it to be as clean as possible. So. The first choice we have is uh, this little metal toggle switch that has clean, fat, or tweed. I'm going to keep it as clean, but those are just different, you know, tonal characteristics. Tweed's going to be a little raunchy or sounding, and that's just not what I'm going for for right now. I have all the knobs turned all the way down, but let's look at this bottom toggle switch. 90 watts, 45 watts, or 10 watts. I'm going for 90 watts because I want the most headroom, meaning the most volume before you start to hear gain or distortion. That option is separate for each of the channels too. So for a super clean tone, 90 watts gives me the most wattage before it sounds distorted. So we're gonna do that. Now, 
there's another toggle switch that says normal and bold. Just going to keep it normal. Um, now, the EQ knobs are down here. I'm going to just go, if you've seen me do other dial-ins, I'm going to dial these in just straight up at 12 o'clock, and then I will adjust them accordingly after the fact. Um, now, the top three knobs, we have gain, master, and presence. Gain is the amount of distortion. Master is the volume of said gain. Presence is the amount of clarity in your, in your sound. So I'm going to go presence. I'm going to go presence 12 o'clock as well. And then now I'm just going to balance the gain and master to get a volume. Oh, the other thing I haven't done is flipped on the standby switch here. So I'll flip that on. Still shouldn't hear anything because gain and master are turned all the way down. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to turn the gain up. I don't know, about 25% up. Turn the master up. Don't hear anything yet, and I know why. Because over here, there's the, oh, the master for the entire amp. So I've kind of dialed this in. So I'll turn the gain up a little bit more. Master's up. It's kind of how I like it. Now I can just turn this master volume up till... And there's my clean tone on channel one. So I don't really have any thing to pick out here. Maybe I'll turn the mids down a little bit. Maybe I'll turn uh, the treble just up a hair. Bass, I'll stay at the middle. Maybe I'll turn the presence down a little bit. So I like that, I like that clean. So I can go over to this master volume and I can turn it all the way down. I can crank it till your ears bleed. But then I also have this solo switch here. So when I hit the solo button on the foot pedal, it gives me this separate volume control. So if I want to keep it clean, but actually have a louder clean and a quieter clean, I can check the differences. So here's the solo. I'll click it on. So that's quite a bit louder now. I turn it off. I've got this clean. I turn the solo on. It's even louder and still clean. So I could use that solo button if I wanted to get uh, like a clean but lead sound. Oops, wrong switch. There we go with the boost. Very loud. <laughs> it's loud in here. So that's the clean. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the foot switch to channel two. You're going to see the orange light go on. So this light went off. And now I'm controlling channel two, which I want to have be my mid range, like my middle gain stage. So maybe I can play some crunchy riffs, but it's not full on distortion. So let's look at our options here. Uh, toggle switch, there's, it says edge, crunch, edge, crunch, mark one. Now people go nuts over the Mesa Boogie mark one. Uh, I've never owned one, but I'm gonna choose the mark one setting right here. Uh, the next toggle switch is for the graphic EQ. Um, I'm going to keep it neutral because we're just not going to worry about that right now. And then now I have that same option, 90 watts, 45 watts, or 10 watts. Now 10 watts is going to give me the most gain at the lowest volume. And it also uses up the tubes more, if I'm not mistaken. 45 watts is right in the middle. Just because I'm demoing the amp, let's, let's pick 45 watts. 
This toggle switch here says normal, Mark 1 normal is the top, and the, mar the bottom says Mark 1 thick. Let's go thick just because I'm playing a single coil guitar right now, Might uh, you know, which tend to be a little um, thinner you know, than a humbucker. So I'm going to pick that. Now uh, we have the EQ. So I'm just going to go right up the middle here to 12 o'clock. The bass, I'm going to go up to 12 o'clock as well. The presence, I'm going to go up to 12 o'clock because that's kind of part of the, the tone. And then now I'm left with the gain and the master, right? The gain's the amount of distortion. And master is the volume of said distortion. Okay, so that's what I have to start with. So now what I want to do is feel what my channel one feels like, because if I'm in that setting where I have three, kind of like three different guitar amps to choose from within this amp, let me go back to channel one and just hear what my clean level's like. So for channel two, I want roughly the same volume, but with more of that gain. So let me hear the volume here. It's, uh, it's not louder, I, wa I want it a little bit louder. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually turn the gain down a hair, the master up a bit. Switch back to channel one, channel two. Now it's a, now it's a little too loud, so let me, let me go normal here. So that's thick. Mark one thick and mark one normal. Thick. We'll just keep it thick. Now I'll go back to channel one. Channel two. So that's my channel two. Uh, let's say, you know, if I want it to be a little less distorted, I can turn the gain down. I can also go back up to 90 watts to give myself more of that headroom. Um, you know, there's lots, I can turn the tr presence up a hair because it was a little dirty. The same solo button I have can be activated. <laughs> Clean. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now let's have a little fun with the lead channel. You're going to see the options are going to be pretty much the same here. Uh, let's do the EQs up to 12 o'clock like we did on the other two channels. Like so. I'm going to turn the presence up to 12 o'clock as well. Uh, now let's look at these little toggle switches. We have Mark II C+. The middle one's Mark IV. I used to have a Mark IV, actually. It's great. And then the bottom is says Extreme, which would be, you know, Metallica uses Mesa Boogie Amp. So, I don't know. Let's try Extreme just for uh, the fun of it. The middle toggle, just like on the other two channels, is for the EQ, the graphic EQ. We're just going to keep it neutral, avoid it right now. And then now we have the 90 watts, 45 watts, and the 10 watts. And like I said, the lower the wattage, uh, the more distortion at a lower volume, the more saturation and that sag that you get from a tube amp. So I'm going to go down to 10 watts for the lead channel. 
just because we want to have some fun. And now it's up to the gain and the master. Let's see here. Yeah, they don't pull out. Okay, so I'm going to turn the gain quite a way, you know, about three quarters of the way up. And then now I'm going to, I just switch my foot switch to channel three. So you can see the red lights on, meaning that's the channel that I have selected. Now I'm going to start turning up the master. Turning the gain up. So it sounds pretty bright. I'm going to turn the presence down, the bass up a little bit, treble down. Okay, now I'm going to turn the gain up more. And let's just try so uh, let's try the Mark II setting here. I like that more than extreme. Let's see. And then middle is the Mark IV. I like that too. Let's go back to the Mark II. Uh, the Mark IV seems ha has a little more gain. Sounds good. Extreme. I like them all. Let's see. I'll go with the Mark II. Alright, so I have all three dialed in now. Now I'm just going to check their individual levels. So I have like a clean that's the also the most quiet out of the three. So let me go back to clean. Now channel two. Okay, so now I've decided I want a little less gain on that number two channel. Now channel three, which is my lead. So I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Alright, so those are the three settings. Now I, I always have the solo button on the foot switch, which will boost whatever channel I'm on. And then I have an EQ switch, so if I wanted something special dialed in uh, on the graphic EQ, I can activate that for any channel I want. There's also an effects loop. If I had my effects, I could go through the back of the amp and have the effects loop bypassed or turned on, uh, which I've never really done that too much. I've never really had the need to do it, uh, so that's what you got. I'm going to switch to a humbucker guitar, and we'll just see how these settings work on that, and maybe make a few adjustments. So let's check that out. Okay. 
So it's super clean. It's a little louder with the humbucker. So uh, what I can do, since I liked the settings, I can just go over to the master volume. Turn it down a little bit and everything, all the ratios have stayed the same. So here's the clean. Channel two. Yeah, that sounds really good. I like that. I'm going to turn just that channel up a little bit. All right, let's try the lead channel. More presence. Less bass. More treble. All about that bass, no treble. So that's a rundown on the Mesa Boogie Mark V. Obviously, lots of bells and whistles. I didn't even get to every single thing that it can do. But in the basic terms, you've got the power of three amps at your disposal with every possible selection at your feet on the controls. It's got the casters that can actually come off. So, you know, you can roll it around or you can put it up on a platform or something like that. Uh, 90 watts, it's super powerful, so you can actually power another Mesa Boogie stack with it. Um, great company, obviously, great reputation. And, uh, you know, it's a real uh, pro kind of amplifier. So I hope it was informative, even if uh, you're not thinking about getting one of these. 
just the concepts that are involved or how my brain works uh, with dialing it in. So thanks again. And let me know other gear you'd like to see me cover in the comments below. And uh, thanks for supporting Marty Music. We'll see you real soon. Ugh.